It's a new week! Yes it is! What's good, internet? My name is Attacks. Like, welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge on the PS4 on a fine Monday. I am recording this on Sunday, so if any significant wrestling news happened in the past 24 hours, I missed it. And I'm sorry, but video games are happening right now. It is E3 time, so uh, let us get into this Superstars match with Dolph Ziggler. Uh, opening the show, apparently, on, on, on Superstars, so sure, why not? Main events, Big Show versus John Cena, because, yeah, people actually want to see that, right? Right? No. No. Anyway, it's the show-off versus the cheese, and another week is upon us, internets. Uh, although, for me, it is still Sunday as I sit here and record this, so my apologies on that. Usually, I, tr I try to be, you know... Uh, recording on the same day as these things air, but sometimes my schedule becomes kind of convoluted and we end up in situations such as this. So, that being said, there was a little bit of a topic of discussion I kind of wanted to get into here uh, as it pertains to the eventual coverage of 2K17, which will be out in October. That's my understanding. And from this channel, you can expect pretty much more or less the same type of coverage that you got from 2K16, which is to say extensive coverage. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, what I do here. But uh, to be more specific, or to, uh, you know, put it in better context, you will get the same real motherfucking talk coverage. Uh, that you might not get from larger channels. Now, I'm not here to sit and name names. That's not my job, right? If you've been on YouTube and you watch wrestling videos, then you kind of know who all the big dogs in the yard are, and it's not my job to sit here and go, oh, well, fuck them. Because, you know, they're doing their thing. But, uh, and, and this is, this is a, a thing that I might go into further depth on in a video all by itself as we get closer and closer to... Uh, the release of 2K17, so, uh, I don't know. I'm, it's, it's a thing that I think about a lot. So, what you're gonna see here, uh, in, I'd say, maybe two months or so, if not sooner, uh, you're gonna see a bunch of 2K17 footage from a lot of the big 2K game YouTubers. Um, and that is because, at a certain point, 2K will contact those YouTubers and fly them out to California to come take a look at their game. Now, what happens there is that those YouTubers obviously get bigger. Those big guys get bigger because they have all that footage before anybody else who has to wait until the game comes out, right? But here's the caveat for that, is they aren't allowed to say anything negative when they go out and get flown out to that event they are under an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, where they can't say anything bad about the game. Now, if you've watched any of my coverage on this channel of this game, and last year's game, you would know I am very vocal on things that I think are terrible, things that I think are broken, and things that I think need changing. Now, whether or not they change them for this year's game, I have my doubts. Like, sure, it's possible. It is always possible they will put out the best wrestling game ever. Uh, but given their past history, do you really expect that to be the case this year? I expect marginal improvements at best, and I'm hoping they at least change up the stupid-ass submission system. But, regardless, uh, why does he keep reversing the AA? My stance on it is as follows. Don't trust pre-release coverage. It's not that they're being paid to say nice things, it's that they got flown out to an event and signed documents to say they could not say things. Like, even if... So say that they go out and it's a great build and the game looks amazing and they say it looks amazing. That's fine. But there's a good chance they'll go out and they'll see something that they don't like and they can't say that they didn't like it because they are, they are under, you know... Uh, a non-disclosure, and therefore they don't want to get sued, you know? That's, that's... The, the... 
it's not that... I don't know. It's... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the right words for this. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing this to fucking Dolph Ziggler. I'm gonna keep doing it. It is the, the shadow of impropriety may as well be impropriety once you introduce that nugget of doubt. And, uh, like, it's not my job to shit talk guys who are obviously much more successful than I am. I'm not jealous. Uh, if 2K invited me, I would tell them no thank you. Because I don't want to do pre-release coverage where I am bound uh, and gagged and not able to give you guys, the audience, the realest of real talk. Uh, because that is what I built this channel on, that is what I believe in, and uh, I think integrity, above all else, when it comes to something as silly as video game coverage, uh, is still an important thing to have, even though I am obviously not a gaming journalist or, you know, anybody important. Uh, I still think it is, it, it, it is imperative to, you know, give you my honest opinion on uh, if I enjoy a game or not. Uh, and certainly I hold myself to a, a very high standard on that. So uh, just keep that in mind when the 2K17 coverage starts hitting from, 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 from all the big channels. And watch them just get way bigger and watch me stay the same, pretty much the same, you know, slow path of ascendancy, just getting there just a little bit at a time, and believe me, I am super grateful for anyone who watches uh, this stuff every damn day of the week. But, you know, it, the system, the way it's set up, it's not, I'm not gonna say it's not fair, because hey, that was, that was their decision to sell out, that was their decision to suck up to their corporate masters on that stuff in order to get that footage, in order to grow their channel. I'm not gonna fault them for that, uh, that is a personal decision, and that's kind of just, at the end of the day, that's what it is. But nevertheless, perhaps I am just too stubborn, perhaps I am just, uh, uh too much of a cranky old man on this stuff. But, to me, it just always, whenever anybody gets flown out for an event, for any major game, when you're a big YouTuber, that always, to me, just goes, you know what, why? Like, I understand on the publisher side why, because... YouTubers are looked at as having uh, uh, more of a pulse on the uh, their, their finger on the pulse of what the audience wants. But at the same time, YouTubers, or a lot of YouTubers, don't work for a company. It's usually like me, a dude in a bedroom, who happen to just get super huge. And uh, they don't have to follow, like, a journalistic code of ethics on any of this stuff. So they can get all kinds of free stuff and, you know, not have to tell you about that free stuff. And that, that is kind of changing with the new FTC guidelines on disclosure. And that's very important. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that's, we're, we're going to end up in that same position in a few months here of seeing a bunch of 2K17 uh, preview coverage, the build's not final coverage, and everyone just having glowing reviews saying it's the best wrestling game ever and you should totally buy it, etc, etc. And that's just not me. Like, I'm still going to pre-order it, I'm still going to buy it, but I'm going to be here talking to you guys 100% real fucking talk. That's what I do here on this channel. Anyway, thanks for watching to my rambling rant and watching uh, my, eventually I'm going to hit that US title, uh, but I'm a tax slug. Uh, go watch them E3 videos. Uh, I'm Hopefully I, I got them done. I'm hoping. Uh, and until then, and until next time, and as always, more videos every day. And I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. In the mouth!